Hello and welcome to tutorial 32a and this is a follow-up from tutorial 32 as you might have guessed and in uh, tutorial 32 what I did was created a simple indicator that plotted a daily moving average on uh, an intraday bar. Now that worked fine but it was based on a change of date in other words literally daily. However if you look at uh, say uh, a daily chart or a, uh, a 1440 minute chart with a standard trade station one line moving average applied to it you'll notice the values are a little different now we won't talk about the uh, the differences on the the daily chart here but for the equivalent the 1440 minute chart those differences arise because that is calculating effectively when there is a session change rather than a date change. So what I've done in this tutorial is modify the original program so that you can either, and you can choose, use the date change or use the session change. So let's go ahead and look at the program. And the first thing you'll notice is we have a new input and that is day or ses. And uh, we're looking for zero for day and one for session. Now in the original program, we simply said if date is different from date the previous bar, then we have a new day. Now in this one, we need to be able to do that. And we do do that, uh, essentially the same. We set a, a Boolean to true when date is not equal to the previous, uh, rather the, the date the previous bar. But what we also do here, if uh, day or ses is one, in other words, we're looking for session change, is we store the current session in a variable called CS. And then we say ses day change is equal to when the CS is different from the CS, the previous bar, when CS is not equal to minus one, which would be uh, uh, not a regular session. And also when CS one bar ago is not equal to zero. And that is when this is first applied to the chart. So then we have similar logic as before, but this time instead of saying if date is not equal to the date the previous bar, we now say if ses day change. Then uh, the first thing we do is we increment a counter. And what we're using this for is to make sure that we've got enough dates set up to have enough information to calculate the moving average for a certain number of days. So we increment that by one. We also set a maximum index for an array. In the uh, the variables, uh, we also have an array now, which is called double close array. And that is a dynamic array. And what we do in this first part, again, is we resize that every time we increase the number of session closes that we've had. And then in the, uh, the, the latest value, we store into this close array the close of the previous bar. So that's the close of the previous bar, whether it was a change of day or a change of session. And then we go and uh, we, the, the uh, syntax is fairly similar to the syntax that we had before. So just uh, skip the first bit and say if counter is less than days back. Now days back is the input of the number of days that we're trying to calculate. Now counter, you can look at it as a um, accumulation counter. So that counter has to get to the number of days that we're trying to find the moving average for before we start using the data. Before that, we just accumulate the, uh, the price for that number of dates and we increment the counter. And then when finally the counter is equal to days back, so for example, if we want a 50 day moving average, counter is equal to 50, then what we then do is calculate the moving average, which is just the accumulated price divided by the days back. And what we also do is because we don't want to have to just keep on calculating these values each time, we just keep a, a record of the, uh, the last uh, close that was in the database. So for example, this would be the close that was the uh, uh, 50 bars ago. And then from then on, um, the uh, as the program goes through, the, the counter is equal to days back, so that's no longer incremented. So what we can then do is just say the price accumulation is equal to the price accumulation plus the uh, close of the previous bar, but then we have to take away this close DB. So, for example, if we had the 50 um, bar, 50 day example, we would uh, take the price accumulated, we would 
add in the close of the previous day, but we'd need to go back that uh, 50 watt, 51 bars effectively, but we've stored it here and we've stored it, we store it here in this part of the program and de deduct that in order to, uh, to make sure that we've just got the last 50 days worth of information. And then we, again, we calculate the moving average and then we plot the moving average here uh, down at the bottom. What, I, what I've also had here is a uh, print statement printing to a file on my C drive, which uh, is useful if you just want to prove to yourself that uh, the values are being calculated correctly. And then also, of course, we've had to add a few more uh, variables. In fact, we added uh, the CS for the uh, current session number. We added the, uh, the Boolean session day change. And uh, we've got this new one here, session day count, which counts the number of days or sessions. So just looking at this applied to a chart. And incidentally, what I've done here is uh, for the um, ESC 19, uh, I've calculated the moving average based on the 1440 minute bar. You'll see here 2991.15 and then on the 15 minute chart 2991.15. And then uh, got uh, the original program and the new program here applied to Amazon. And you can see if, uh, if we just look at the, the settings that uh, even with the uh, day or ses set to one, the two values are the same. Therefore, you no longer need to use the tutorial 32 because this can do the original calculation as well. But if we were to go to the 15 here, go to format analysis techniques and turn on the original program, you'll see that we do get a slight difference in the values because this the original is calculating based on change in date and the new one is uh, calculating uh, based on a change of session. Anyway, uh, I hope you might find this useful. Uh, please remember to join our email list and of course subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you.